Okay, this should work. That's waiting. I'm waiting to make sure it connects to all of my platforms. There we go. Ah, oh, it's working. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay. So now let's see if I can see the chat. All right. I'm so excited it's working. <laughs> it took me so long. Hello. If anybody could hear me, uh, just testing to make sure that it's actually working. Can anyone hear me? I know it's very delayed. Hi, TF, who is TF? Tracy Fallone, <laughs> hi Tracy. All right, I'm going to start off just with um, talking about the body code system and my energy science technique together. So Tracy, if you're interested in a reading or anyone is interested in the reading and you're replaying this and watching this, there'll be a link down below to book a session with me. Uh, these are going to be shorter sessions. Oh, so I'm seeing all the chats on different platforms all at once. So it's a little bit much. Okay. Yeah. So if you're interested, just go ahead and throw your email up in the chat and I'm going to add you to the list. But it seems like the first person who messaged is Tracy, who can get a reading today. Uh, but first I'm going to talk, I'm just going to start out every week with a story about the body code. Hi Lexi and energy healing and how I discovered it and how it's beautiful and amazing. All right. So I started with the body code, it's made by another, thank you, Tracy. It's made by another chiropractor. And um, this, this technique was made by another chiropractor and I was studying it during COVID. Hi, sweetie. Um, I was studying it during COVID and playing around with it. And I was just relaxing one day and all of a sudden I thought of an old friend in my head. I just thought of her. And then I looked on Facebook and she was suffering. She just posted the day before that she was suffering with COVID and that she was going to be off of work because she's an internet influencer. She wasn't going to be on line anymore. And I messaged her and I said, look, I'm studying this new energy technique this new wellness technique that really has been beneficial to me. Do you mind if I work with you? And she's like, I've been waiting for something, for something. Like I've been praying because she's she was at a, a point where I think we can all understand that um, when something happens to our health, we feel it coming on and we know that we're, we're having a problem, but then it gets to a point where it's almost, we're just like, okay, this is almost an emergency. And, and, and there's a fine line of getting to that point of like, okay, now it's a problem. Like now I feel like I have to go to the hospital. Now I feel like I have to go get a pill. So she was just on that border of, I need to go get help because her oxygen levels were so low 
And I just messaged her and I, I was like, okay, you go ahead and I'm sorry, I'm still working with the camera a little bit, um, but I'm so excited I'm, I'm live on all platforms right now. Um, hi everyone, thank you for joining. If you're just joining in, please go ahead and throw your email up in the chat and I'm gonna add you onto the list for my mini readings. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going with my story. So then she was at a point where she's a nurse herself, right? And she knew exactly what was going on. Kingsley, it's okay. She knew what was going on. So I tested her a bunch of things. So many things popped up and a lot of imbalances, but one thing in particular popped up for her was myrrh essential oil. And she had it already and she grabbed it and she diffused it. And immediately she could start breathing again. Like she was already, she was so far. And all of a sudden she just started breathing again. And that one thing changed her, changed her miraculously. There's just always this one, if you're in pain, there's always something that you just need. And it's so powerful. And that's why I love this technique because it's so personalized and it's, and it's very unique than any other technique I've ever looked at and dabbled in. So sometimes this will do just a miracle, like sometimes just a miracle will happen and it's just amazing. And it's just amazing. Um, but also I do my, yes, yes, I know. Wow, Jason. I also, if you're not in, um, I don't deal with really dire things like that. That's not my forte. Um, I'm a big proponent of catching things before they become a problem. And through my yearly uh, prescription program, wellness prescription program, I help you catch things before you even realize they're a problem and you get supplemented, you get, uh, I, you get exactly what you need to keep your body well and healthy and constantly healing so that when these big things come in, you're able to be stable within your health in order to fight these things, in order to um, build up if you fall, like be able to recover faster, things like that, okay? Hi, everyone. I'm seeing all these different platforms and they're all a little off. They're all a little off. So Tracy, Tracy, are you ready? So this is the body code, but I really do uh, thank you, Tracy. This is the body code, but I really mix a lot of different things in there for sure. But you're ready. I'm writing down your email so that I can email you afterwards everything. And if anything that pops up that's too personal, I'm not going to just broadcast it. I'm going to email it to you, okay? So excited. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Whoever thought we could do this, like, on the internet, um, and you're in New Jersey, yeah. Tracy is a patient of mine from New Jersey. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, I know a lot of your background already. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All right. My name is Tracy. All right. Let's go through. Hi, everyone on Instagram. Hi, everyone. If anybody's joining in, please go ahead and just throw your email address in the chat, and I'm going to add you to the list. Okay, Tracy. Here we go, Tracy. 
You could see my screen. All right. Is there something on the left, on the right? Nutrition lifestyle. Let's see on the left, on the right. <laughs> What's this? Herber spice. I'm so happy that everyone can see what I'm working with now. It was a miracle that it worked today. It never. It took me so long to get all the platforms um, and the camera and the audio to work. Okay, Tracy, vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. This actually pops up a lot. Vanilla is very heart centered. It's almost angelic. It's very ancient. I know you like to drink coffee. Um, I'm not sure if Dunkin' Donuts has like that real vanilla extract. Uh, I doubt it. I know you drink coffee. I think you do. <laughs> Live coffee. Exactly. <laughs> so you can add... Um, like organic vanilla extract. That's way different than the Dunkin' Donuts extract, just like in my head. And it's a must. Okay. Let's see. Is there any other imbalances for Tracy? Yes. It's on the left. Circuit or a system. Pancreas. Okay. There's an imbalance in your pancreas because of an emotion that's stuck in there. Okay, let's go. Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> we all have these trapped um, emotions stuck inside of us. It's a, uh, we're humans. We all have feelings, right? Let's see. It's an energy. Hi, everyone. Anybody that's popping in and joining, if you want a reading, go ahead and throw your email and I'm going to put it on the list. I'm be saying that a lot. Okay. All right. Tracy. Is it on the left? It's on the right. It's an emotional heart wall emotion. Oh, Tracy, I love getting rid of heart walls. Okay, you have a shared heart wall, shared. Uh-oh, who do you think it's with, Tracy? Let's see, it's one, it's one emotion, a heart wall. Okay, yeah, so a heart wall is an emotion that you're not aware of and it blocks you from receiving love from others. So you're not aware that you're putting up a wall to love. Yeah, it's a little trickster. It's a trickster and it's telling me you have this connection with someone else. So someone else has the same thing and you're together blocked. Okay. This has been an issue. Yeah. Um, I can, let's see if I pop back up. I'm gonna fix that issue all in due time. So Tracy, I can test to see who it is exactly, but you probably already know who it is, okay? I'm gonna see what emotion is stuck. Hi everyone, whoever's joining, go ahead and throw your email address and I'm going to put you to the list. I'm sorry if I missed it. I'm gonna try and keep track of everything. 
I'm going to figure out what emotion it is. Mm, wishy-washy. Not sure. Like, I don't know. This is wishy-washy. Mm. That feeling. Tracy, you are very like, oh, <laughs> I love you so much. I miss you. <laughs> this is kind of like your vibe, like, oh, whatever. <laughs> unsure. Exactly. You're not sure. You're unsure. Yeah. So just acknowledging and testing. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Just acknowledging and testing that an emotion is there and you label it. Now you're able to just process it out. Yes, that's me. Yeah, yeah. And so now maybe over the next couple of days, some things will pop up and you'll just be able to come to terms with um, wishy-washy because maybe you feel like being unsure is, um, it's stuck because you feel like you shouldn't be unsure, you know, but it's, normal to be unsure. It's normal to be wishy-washy. It's just stuck. So all emotions just, we, sh we, we should experience them all, right? This is how life goes. And we are supposed to experience everything in order to learn. Like we're just here to learn and to experience life. And the only reason why it gets stuck is because we don't feel like we should be that way or something. Like there's just something that doesn't let it process out. So acknowledging it automatically means coming to peace with it. It's whatever. It's a normal emotion, whatever. And then it releases it. Wow. I just turned purple. <laughs> I just turned purple. All right. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Yes. Hi, everyone. Hi, 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 everyone. It's on the left, it's on the right. Mm -hmm. Lifestyle. I'm unsure of loving someone. I do have my walls up. Yeah, you're aware of it, yeah. Oh, you're like, I'm not sure if loving someone is a good idea. Yeah. I understand that, yeah. It's good to acknowledge it. Let's see. There's something else associated with that emotion. Okay, so it's telling me that Tea tree oil is going to help you with that emotional stuff. Okay, so tea tree oil is an energetic um, protector. So typically we use tea tree oil when animals have fleas or you're trying as an insect repellent. So it really gets rid of energy that um, doesn't suit you. Um, it's good at keeping your own energy and... Um, deterring other people's energy. Literally it's in, um, hi Brandon. Yeah, go ahead and uh, drop your email and I can get to you. Tea tree oil is your favorite? Oh, I don't like the smell. I don't like the, you like it? You like the smell of tea tree oil? I don't. Yeah, they uh, men. I women men use it for dandruff. I think, but yeah, it helps you just focus on your own energy, and maybe that's part of the thing. It's like, yeah. Is there any other imbalances associated with this? Yes. Let me write this down. Um, 
So we had vanilla extract so far, the wishy-washy heart balm, and we had the tea tree oil. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple things. So these are just things that are keeping you not in balance. Not in balance. Um, Hi, everyone. Hi. If you're interested in a reading, go ahead and put your email down below. I'm sorry. Just keep putting it there because I'm missing some. I'm on many platforms right now. Yeah, so I'm just pointing out imbalances. And when you fix these imbalances, you're able to, I guess I would say, like, you're able to heal. You're your body's able to self-heal on its own. Your hair grows by itself. Your nails grow by itself. You can make a baby. Life happens, you know. Your body grows. And the only reason why it wouldn't repair itself is if you're in, there's too many imbalances. So when we start getting rid of all these imbalances, you can just start to thrive and flourish and feel better. Yeah, let's keep going, Tracy. I saw the alert. You saw the alert on Facebook. <laughs> All right. Tracy, is there any other imbalances associated with the heart wall? No. Okay. Is the heart wall gone? No. Will it leave in one day, two days? So give it two days to process out. Okay, Tracy? Is there any other imbalances? Yes. And this can really just process out um, on YouTube in the dream state a lot of times. Alexa just thought I was talking to her. Hi, everyone. If you're interested in a reading, go ahead and put your email address. I keep missing them, so keep putting them up. All right, let's see. There's another imbalance. Yes, Tracy, you're still here on the left. A toxin. Excess. Too much. Is there anything else we need to know about this? It's physical, yes. So, let's keep going. Typically, metabolic waste comes up when there's just too much food. Oh. Too much of anything at once. It could be your coffee, it could be food. It's like too much at once that your body can't process it out. Let's keep going. There's another imbalance associated with this. Yes, it's on the left, it's on the right. It's a misalignment. The fascia. Okay. Let me see you. Give me a second. We're investigating. Hi everyone. So fascia, let's keep going. Is there another imbalance? Yes. On the left, on the right. Let's see. This is all one story. Fascia, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you're having some stomach problems. You're having stomach problems. Is there anything else to see? 
nothing else associated with this. Okay, is there um, a change in the diet that's wanted? Yes. Um, how many meals a day do you eat, Tracy? Or is it sporadic? So fascia, your fascia is the lining of the outer covering of the stomach. It's what kind of gives it cushion. It connects it to all the other organs. It's um, kind of like styrofoam inside the Amazon box. <laughs> Just kind of gives it cushion. And there's an imbalance because of too much waste in the body. Your body's not pushing out the waste that it needs to, it needs, you need to change something in the diet. Maybe one, maybe two. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many meals a day for Tracy? Let's see. Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Okay. We want three meals a day. Um, let's see. I think that will help. Is there anything else now? So yeah, I, it's asking you to just spread out your meals more, and this will help um, and this will help with your digestion. Mm -hmm. I went away. I will start that tomorrow. All right, I'm on a different camera. That one was acting up. I will start that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, play with it and try three meals. You'll feel better. Um, because if you do one or two, then the body's holding on to it for dear life. And then it's not. Um, then all these waste products. It's like you want to take out the trash um, every day. You know, not. You want, you. it wants to be more regular. Okay. Is there anything else? <laughs> Is there any other imbalances for Tracy? No. Makes sense. Yeah. Let's see. Reiki. Okay, Tracy, I'm going to do some Reiki on your um, heart chakra. Are you down? So down. Okay. Take a really big, deep breath in all the way into your belly and let it out. Okay. Another breath, another breath in Tracy. And out again.
How you doing? I feel like there's something you need to say or something like that. Mm -hmm. Does that resonate with you? Um, Brandon, are you still on? Yeah, I feel like maybe you need to sing or something like that. It's like just um, the energy needs to come out of your uh, throat. It's it's a heart throat chakra area that just needs to to sing something like that. You're always talking, Tracy. <laughs> I don't know. I can feel a heavy in my throat. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to release that. Let's see if I can. Wow, I just said my throat. Oh, we're delayed. Yeah. I got it to move up here, but now it's right here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love when it does that. Yeah. Yeah, this stuff is real. Yeah. All right. I felt it. <laughs> what it just did, it went from your throat up to the third eye and it changed your perspective on something. You're going to see things a little differently. That's so fun. <laughs> it feels clear. All right, let's see. I don't know. Let's do one more because Tracy, I spent a lot of time on my Tracy. <laughs> I hope you do well. You're doing well, Tracy. I'm going to email you. I put my hands like you did and felt it move. Good, good. Yeah, you could do this to yourself too. Mm -hmm. So weird and awesome at the same time. Yeah. You know, I'm looking for somebody um, that put their email down. Who's up next? I know it's a little delayed. Who's up next? Hmm. I'll be emailing you, Tracy, everything so you don't forget. Hi, Nano. Hi, Redwood. Yes, I can't work for you. Tracy, if you could just share this with any of your friends, I'm going to be going live every Wednesday. At, well, 5 Pacific, so it'd be 8 o'clock your time. 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's 
My name's Rebecca. Yep. My name's Tracy. No, we're disconnected, Tracy. Who said they were interested? I will. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. I'm looking for one more person. Everybody keeps popping in and out. All right, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to test myself for something. I do have an imbalance. Okay. I will test myself. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so I'm going to test myself just for the recording. It's going to stay live, or it's going to be posted on all these platforms, so. Anybody see what's going on? Unless somebody else, I see people popping. If you're interested, pop your email in. Is Brandon back on yet? If anyone's interested in a reading, go ahead and throw your email or your name, something so I could just see that you're on. All right, I'm going to test myself. I think everything's very delayed, too. Okay, I have an imbalance on the left or the right. I don't have any symptoms or anything. Um, I have a misalignment. Soft tissue. Fascia. So that sticky covering around the bones, every organ, every muscle. I shared on Facebook. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see what, what fascia, where is this fascia imbalanced, right? My energy body, let's, okay. I have a chakra imbalance. in my root chakra. So the base chakra, that's like your fight or flight, your survival. Um, is there anything else associated with this? Yes. The fascia around the root chakra. Let's keep going. Skeleton. Ah, okay, this makes sense. In my foot. Oh, it's the foot I broke. That makes sense. So I actually, yeah, I broke the medial phalange on my left foot, which is causing a 
root chakra imbalance. It's saying the covering of the bone is imbalanced. My foot. Hi, Lexi. <laughs> hey, girl. Um, yeah. My foot. <clears throat> Medial phalange. No, I'm not seeing your messages, Lexi. No. I maybe something's off with everything because I'm going live on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram all at once. How do I how how did I heal my foot? I broke my foot three times. I broke my foot three times on the left side. It is so delayed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, energy. Lexi, I'm connected to your energy now. Oh, how do you heal your root chakra? Um, so many different ways. So many ways. That's why... You know, you see those commercials and it's like, oh, you need this for this. It's like, there's so many different ways to heal something. And that's was always my problem being a chiropractor and a healer. And I'm like, there's so many ways to go at this. And then this system just really pinpointed some things. Okay. So how am I going to heal my root chakra? That That is the thing. Well, it's from what I'm looking at, my root chakra is off because of the scar tissue in my around my broken foot. That's what it's telling me. Those were like the little clues that were just given to me. But let's keep going and see if there's anything else that pops up. So yeah, it's it's like a broken bone can cause the chakra to be off. Or the chakra can be off, and that's what caused the weakness in the bone, and that's why you broke it. They go hand in hand. It's all connected. Hmm. Okay, is there any other imbalance associated with the root chakra? Yes. So there's more going on. Is it on the... It's an energy... It's an allergy or an intolerance. It's a physical allergy. Hmm. Okay, I have a physical allergy. It's funny because I've been, this eye has been itching me. My right eye has been itchy. Hi, Lexi. Mm. Let's keep investigating. Let's. So something is physically aggravating me. Something is irritating me, you know, like a chemical or hmm. Is there anything associated with this? Yes. Let's keep going. It's on the left and the right. Is this the food I'm allergic to? Okay, this is something new that I've never done before. This is a food that um, my body does not like. I've never, I've, I was interested in like allergy testing with this, but this is cool. Um, I'm really always surprised where this goes and it's fascinating. Wait, chestnut. I eat chestnuts all the time. Uh, 
I want to eat chestnuts. Is this an allergy to it? Yeah. I'm being really stubborn. I don't want to stop eating chestnuts. I have these um cooked chestnuts that I like to have. Maybe it's the brand. I don't know. I'm trying to stop doing that. I don't have any pain in my foot. Um, or anything like that. Is there any other imbalances? Yes. With the root chakra? No. So the root chakra is good as long as I stay away from my chestnuts that I like. Let's see. Let's see. There's another imbalance on the left, on the right. Mm, yeah. Electrolyte utilization. I need more minerals in my diet. So... More minerals. Let's see. Is there anything else associated with this? Yeah, let's keep going. I don't even know if that live is working anymore. Wild yam root. I've tested for this before. Wild yam root is um, good for estrogen imbalance. I'm still here. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> I know Lexi's still here. My regulars now. And then a bunch of people pop in and out. Oh, uh, well, the Emru, I noticed I wear my headphones. And when you wear a lot of headphones, it actually creates an imbalance in your estrogen hormones. And while well, the Emru can uh, help with that. Trying to see if eye twitch goes with dehydration. Oh, eye itch goes with dehydration. Huh. Yeah, it it wasn't dehydration. It was a mineral, um, lack of minerals, but lack of minerals makes you dehydrated because the positive and the negative of the minerals helps drag the water. So yeah, like my eye could be itchy because I saw minerals dehydration. Yeah, exactly. It makes, I'm just being really technical because it's like, I need more minerals. Yeah. Hi, GLH Wellness. <laughs> it's delayed. If you're interested in a reading, go ahead and throw your email up and I can get to you uh, probably next week because I'm getting tired. Yeah. Let's see. So, you know, I'm going to add just some um, Himalayan salt to my water. And that should be good. Elaine! <laughs> you know, Elaine, I think I'm going to stop. I'm testing myself right now because, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Elaine, do you want a reading right now? Because I was just testing myself, but 
It's so delayed. I could do one more. I just got another, <laughs> another wind in me. Uh, let me write down your email. Elaine, my Aries friend. I think we're in an Aries moon right now. I'm so happy to see you here. Yes, I'm happy to wait until next week unless you want to do one out. Yeah, I'm done. I just got excited to do another one. I was feeling a little. Let's see. Let's see. Tracy, you're an Aries too? <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> Elaine, Elaine is up. <laughs> My mom's an Aries too. Aries are in the house today on an Aries moon. I love it. <laughs> it's an Aries healing night. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love Aries. They're always fighting for like the justice, like personal justice, you know, like what is right and what is wrong. I admire that a lot about Aries. Only today too. Lots of fire. We're on fire. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know a lot about astrology, but I have um, an Aries ascendant. So that means the way I look at the world is just like very uh, Aries, a lot of fire the way. Yeah. Okay. Elaine. Okay. Is there any complaints for you, Elaine? Anything you want to work on physically, personally? Oh, I have some water. I'm getting my mineral. This is tea. There's no minerals in this. I'm just kidding. There's no minerals. Exhaustion and lethargy. You're just tired. How would you rate that one out of 10? So um, Elaine is tired, exhausted. You said you feel like it's energetic, but it could be digestive. Yeah. Sometimes they're connected too. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Let's see. Just let me know if you... How exhausted have you been lately? One out of 10. Like how much does it suck? Just so we can kind of gauge it. Sunday, six to eight. How long has this been going on? Uh, I feel your motherly energy right now. <laughs> Protective mother. Protective mother. A few weeks. Okay. On the left. Okay. Is there an imbalance on the left? On the right. Huh. Are you following me? So there's a fascia imbalance. I don't got to explain fascia to you. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see, where is this fascia imbalance? 
this wait my name's elaine my name's rebecca my name's elaine in your aura okay we're gonna keep going with this because sometimes it'll make me run around and it kind of makes sense sometimes it doesn't make any sense but it works feels so restrictive to move lately oh okay maybe it's a general fascia thing interesting hmm i love how this always just throws me for a loop Okay, so in your aura, your aura is affecting your fascia. So the aura is the human energy field or the bioelectromagnetic field extends beyond the surface for some distance, usually estimated at two to three feet, but possibly extending much further. Um, it can be visualized, measured, um, many things can disrupt the aura, right? It's true. Let's see. There's an imbalance in your aura. Is it, is there something else we need to know about this? Yes. Let's keep going. Hydration. Water quality. Very similar to me. Let's see. Lack of energy. Your dehyd um electrolyte utilization. So one of these is it you need more minerals too we're both in the same boat girl i was just testing myself. this is how it always is because people are attracted to each other for certain reasons we both are lacking electrolytes and then you popped on <laughs> and electrolytes definitely affect your fascia oh it's so delayed are you still here with me Mineral imbalance. Okay. So we need more minerals. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about this? Yes. So let's keep going. So you're deficient in a certain thing. You know what your body wants? It's avocados. Avocados with that Himalayan salt on top. <laughs> That'll get your minerals in. Avocados. Do you like avocados? Have you been craving them? It's summer too, so it's the perfect time for avocados. It's the season. It's an Aries healing night. I love it. I wonder what, what the moon next week is going to be. And then... It might be, um, yes, I've been having, craving salty food lately. Yeah. It's a signal. It's a signal to have it. You know, I, I had a, a client and she kept testing positive that she needed to eat butter. It's like, you got to listen to your body, you know? 
everything in moderation. Okay, let's see. Is there any other imbalances? Um, anything else associated with the lethargy? There's more to it. There's more to your exhaustion. More lifestyle stuff. Oh, we're doing some Reiki. We're doing some Reiki. Let's see. All right. Is there anything? Okay. And a chakra? Upper? Lower? Is it root? Is it sacral? It's solar. Solar chakra. Are you ready for some Reiki? Your solar plexus. Your willpower, which is crazy because you're in Aries. <laughs> Do you feel like you have a sacral chakra imbalance? Or no, not a sacral, solar the yellow, the middle. I've just been teaching to working through solar plexus chakra. Ah, oh, yeah. That we always teach something that we need to learn, or like we we are also working on too. It's it's that beautiful connection between the doctor and the patient, the teacher and the teach. I need the work on it as it turns out. Yeah, but you're working on it through other people too. It's it's all a beautiful connection. It all works in a beautiful dance. Mm -hmm. By teaching, you learn a lot too, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, take a big deep breath in. And out. It's something about speaking with the power. A lot of throat chakra stuff today. Here we go. Yeah. It's the back of your solar plexus chakra to the front of your throat. It's like receiving power from something and then speaking of it or something. Something about receiving power. It's cleared up. It, it cleared up really fast. You're very healthy because it cleared up very fast. How are you feeling? Is there any other imbalance? Yeah, there's another. I think there's just one more thing. There is... Yeah, there's one emotion that I just moved.
You felt it lift out of your lower back. I did too, yeah. I felt it more like in the middle. Well, yeah, your lower back. Yeah, the upper lower back I felt go from. Oh, okay. A prenatal compound. So not preconception, but prenatal. This was when you were in the stomach of your mother. One, two. So two emotions. Unworthy. Unworthy. And one more, yeah. And the taken for granted, two of those. The unworthy and the taken for granted deal hand in hand a lot. Once you resolve and the other one resolves, yeah. So whenever I find this trapped emotion that's stuck, um, it naturally just clears out on its own in a couple of days. Uh, usually during your sleep, you don't even really recognize it. Uh, so this is something that was trapped while you were um, in the womb that got stuck to you. So you've been holding onto this for a while and it's time to release it. It's it's good that we're releasing it right now. We're on a, a closing moon phase, a waning moon. So it's a good time for releasing and just letting all that crap go. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. A lot of things like in the energetic realm, it's just recognizing that you've been feeling this and then that's how it clears out. And everybody feels these things. It's just having it stuck is not necessary, you know. Yeah. Feeling is healing and we're supposed to feel everything and learn from all the different emotions and yeah. You are so worthy of everything. <laughs> absolutely everything. You are worthy because you're a human being on this earth and just being alive makes you worthy. Like you don't even have to do anything. You just have to be yourself. That's it. That is it. You are so worthy. So worthy. And yeah, that's probably what was blocking them. Um, the sacral chakra. Yeah, just being human is enough to be worthy of everything. Yeah, you might have a good conversation with your mother after, after this. All right, that's everything. Um, I'm going to be emailing you, Elaine, with everything. Prenatal. Yeah, I, I worked through these emotions too. They pop up on me sometimes as well. Yeah, and it's, it's a prenatal emotion. So it's even, it's deeper than most, right? It's been in you longer. So you have the hardest lesson of the emotion and it's, it's been with you for the longest. So once you overcome it, it's, extremely powerful. Yeah, just recognizing that it was trapped is enough. You don't even have to do anything. 
it'll happen naturally. Thank you for joining. Thank you, <laughs> Elaine. It was so nice to see you again. So nice to feel you again. <laughs> I'm gonna go eat dinner. Have a good evening. Thank you. Um, if anybody's watching this replay, I'm gonna have a link in the description box below for any of my services. Um, yeah, see you guys next week too. Love you, bye. My website is karmachiropractic.com.